लास्ट वीक इसरो टेस्ट इज द सेकेंड स्टेज ऑफ द रीजोबल लॉन्च वाइकल विच इज सिमिलर टू द स्पेस शटल इसरो सक्सेसफुली लैंडेड इट ऑन अर्थ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ इट विल वर्क एंड हाउ इट विल बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर रीजोबल रॉकेट्स करेंटली इट कॉस्ट अबाउट टू बिलियन डॉलर टू लॉन्च अ रॉकेट एंड दिस कॉस्ट डिपेंड्स ऑन द साइज ऑफ द सेटेलाइट If the satellite is too heavy, we need a bigger rocket which can carry more capacity to space. If we break down the cost of making a rocket, around 80% of the cost is of rocket. However, if we could use rockets again and again, the cost of sending satellites to space could reduce by 80%. The concept of reusable rockets is not new, but since we started making rockets, we have been thinking about how to reuse them. In the beginning, due to the rockets being single stage, the weight of the rocket used to be more, which was a big problem in launching rockets. After that, we started making rockets in multiple stages, which helped us to reuse the rocket. The first project, whose mission was to make a reusable rocket shuttle, was started by NASA scientists in 1968. Their mission was to make a fully reusable rocket shuttle by 1970. for which they initially thought of making a liquid fuel booster but later nasa changed its plan and tried to make a reusable rocket shuttle with the help of a solid fuel rocket booster in 1980 russia's space agency roscosmos made the energia second rocket shuttle which was a reusable rocket shuttle both the booster and the core of the rocket were reusable many companies have attempted to make reusable rockets but they all failed in the beginning of the 21st century the ansari x contest was organized in which many private companies showcased their reusable rockets however scaled composite rocket spaceship 1 won this contest In 2012, SpaceX started its own reusable rocket program, and by 2015, they made their first reusable rocket, Falcon 9. In the same year, Blue Origin launched its first rocket, New Shipyard. Before discussing how ISRO's reusable rocket works and how it will differ from other reusable rockets, let's take a look at the most successful rocket, Falcon 9, and understand how currently used reusable rocket work. Falcon 9 produces thrust with the help of its nine Merlin engines, which lifts off the rocket using oxygen and kerosene fuel. This helps Falcon 9 to get out of the Earth's atmosphere and into space. Once Falcon 9 reaches space, the first stage of the rocket, which contains the engine and fuel, separates from the second stage, which contains the satellite and computer. The second stage then uses its engine to place the satellite into Earth's orbit and then gets destroyed. However, Falcon 9's first stage engine restarts and lands back on Earth so that it can be reused. It is well known how SpaceX Falcon 9 reusable rocket works, but the concept of ISRO's reusable launch vehicle is different from that of SpaceX. Currently, we only reuse the first stage of the rocket, but ISRO believes that the second stage of the rocket is more costly and it includes expensive computer equipment. Therefore, ISRO's plans to make a completely reusable rocket by 2030, which would involve reusing both the first and the second stages of the rocket. The second stage of the ISRO's reusable launch vehicle will have a winged design similar to a space shuttle. Once the second stage has been delivered the satellite to its intended orbit, it will be re-entered into Earth's atmosphere and glide back to the surface, using its wings to control It is speed. Parachutes may also be used to further slow down the speed. Once the vehicle is close to the ground, it will use its landing gear to touch down on a runway, similar to an airplane. Comment: Will ISRO be able to defeat SpaceX in a reusable rocket? Support our mission of making scientific knowledge accessible to everyone by sharing it, liking, and subscribing to our channel. So, see you in the next video. Bye bye.